Hi, welcome to Captain Georgia. This is a series for basic navigation. In this lesson, we're going to learn about basic plotting and using True North on a chart. And we're gonna learn how to convert from True to Magnetic to your boat's compass and from your boat's compass to Magnetic and back to True. Each lesson is approximately three minutes in length. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to know is that whenever you plot positions, work out headings, do courses on a chart, we always use true. You'll note that the longitude lines run parallel to true, and the latitude lines run perpendicular to true north. Let's say you're here, and you want to head back into Charleston, so you want to set a course to Charleston Harbor. Well, we pull out our trusty parallel rulers and we draw a line from where we are located currently to our destination. Without moving the left-hand side of the parallel rules, we move the right-hand side over to the center point on the compass rows and we draw a line that's parallel to our course. That will tell us our true north heading. So our true heading, in this case, turns out to be 333 degrees. Now we need to convert that to magnetic. And we'll talk about a little more detail of converting later, but let's just get through this particular example. So we're gonna start with 333 true. We take a look at our variation, which is four degrees 15 west. And that was 1985, it's 2020, so we have to add our annual increase for each year. We've done that, and we know that it's nine degrees west. So when we do the math from 333 true, we add our variation of nine degrees west, we come out with a magnetic compass heading of three, four, two degrees. Now take a look at that compass rose for a moment. You'll notice that the magnetic compass rose is telling us 330 plus five, six, seven, 337 degrees. Well, 337 is 333 three, three plus four degrees, that initial variation. That's because we have to add the annual increase for all the years between the time the chart was created and today's date. So we can't use that magnetic compass rose. We have to use the true compass rose. So we do everything on a chart with true. So our course magnetic to Charleston is 342 degrees. Let's take a little more in-depth look at how we can convert from true to magnetic to our ship's compass. First, a few definitions, just to make sure you know. True North, T, is the geographic North Pole. Magnetic variation is a difference in degrees between True North and Magnetic North. Magnetic deviation, D, is the difference between magnetic and your ship's compass. The metal, the magnetic field around your boat, your boat itself affects your compass, so there is a difference between magnetic and your compass readout. TVMDC. This is something that's very good to memorize. When you do a conversion, you want to simply take a piece of paper. You want to write TVMDC, just the way you see it here. And then we just plug in the numbers. It's not too hard. Remember, our true course to Charleston was 333. Our variation from our chart was 9 west. We add that and come to 342 for our magnetic heading. But now we have to go to our deviation tables that we did and look and see with a heading of 342 degrees, our deviation is what? 12 west. So we add those together and our actual boat's compass course to get to Charleston is 354 degrees. That's the course we're gonna steer on our compass. TVMDC, true, Variation, magnetic, deviation, your boat's compass. Whenever you go from true to magnetic to your boat's compass, you add west and subtract east, both for variation and deviation. Going back from your compass to magnetic to true, you subtract west and add east. True north to magnetic, we add a west variation or subtract east variation from magnetic to our compass, we have to look at the deviation tables based on our magnetic heading. We find the correct deviation, add west or subtract east, get our compass course. Whatever that compass course is, we look at our deviation table, 
we get our deviation. We subtract west or add east deviation. That gives us our magnetic heading. We look at our variation on the chart in the compass rows. Again, we subtract west variation, add east variation to get our true north. Remember, always work in true on a chart. But you have to steer by magnetic that's adjusted for deviation on your boat's compass. Thank you.